Екатерина Муна, Анка Майя, Дахтами Гзиске. cultural teachings and education here for us at the high school and at the elementary all these years, I swear probably 30 years, and uh, I'm proud to say she's my sister and my brother-in-law, Jack and Eva. Скотта-скотта-гоуитан, that's handling this festival with Eddie and all of our colleagues at the school with Vince and Bev and Everybody has been working with pennies for the last 19 years to celebrate the Métis and the Michif language here through the school and the community. And the amazing jobs were done with so little money. So it goes to show that uh, Abitoga's son is entrepreneurial, it's creative, it's committed, and it wants to do stuff. So this year we got together and we said, by God, we're, we're worth more than a few pennies because our culture and our language and our children are worth a heck of more than that. So that's why she's able to do a lot more. And I want to mention Kanwa Eva. Now speak to me, Kurti was was a gun say and it that time to teach him a deal. They would teach I'll get pay you, but when you see that, no swaps now, we always see no one. Miss Tigo Kiva, Papa Toho, not talking to you, so he's not to go all of me. He's been in the team, Dayan, he went out to Mustas. So, uh, you get the Dayan stories over there, you can get them there with Eva and, and Jack. So, thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs> the next recognition we want to make is I'm not sure if Eddie wants to say something, but the first Mitchell Language Festival that was organized 20 years ago was um, organized to Melvina Johnson Badger. And unfortunately we lost uh, Melvina years ago, but she was the driving force behind this. So, we're gonna ask Kumana, the new step is that we're gonna have a chance to go to Johnson's Wakumagamoyo. So, maybe just a, a, a few moments of, of memory for uh, Melvina Johnson Badger. So welcome, welcome all to, to the 20th anniversary of the Mitchell Festival. We heard our great twos, 
sing uh, O Canada and, and Midship here this, mo this afternoon. Wonderful uh, job to the grade twos. And of course, we're always learning and of course we always want to acknowledge uh, people who contribute to the culture and the language. And I don't want to miss this one. I think uh, John Arcan's been teaching fiddling in Isle Cross for the last 10 years and he's done a wonderful job. Those are his students that are fiddling up there. Let's give him a nice round of applause for a wonderful work he's done. And so I want to thank the elders that are here for continuing to make sure that we don't lose our history, our culture, and our language. And I would like to ask the young people that are here to pay attention when the elders talk and they speak to you and they want to teach you things. And if you're not sure about something, don't be shy to ask. Because you know that's how we all learn. So my name is Tamak. Ya mohan ni chenong si sadi kuya di kawi chiwa ke kampas kam kawi ni. Because because what happened when you go to transition? That's the way they tell stories in the old days. Thank you. So um, I'm happy to be here, and it's, it's something that uh, I always believe in is language because when I was going to school, as you know, I had got a lot of stress because I spoke my language, always teasing with people when I, when I spoke my language. And usually I ended up in a principal office because I spoke my language. But you know what, today I still have my language. And those people that see you that capes to new peaks, kuya, capes, a kami monto to new peaks, kuya. This is such a wonderful event. I've been to a few events in our cross within the past few years here, and it's it's always a pleasure to come into the community, especially within the school, because you as students have the opportunity of of learning the Mijif, our language within the north. And, I think that all the activities are so great and, and wonderful because we don't only get to engage in our language, but we get to engage in our culture. Because I always say, without our language, uh, without our culture, we don't really have a language. On behalf of Making Nation British Columbia and the national as National Minister for Culture, Heritage, and Families, again, it's an honor. I look forward to the next few days of festivities and to emerge or myself in our culture. It's Vitally important uh, to, to make sure we have our culture as we move forward. Uh, and like I said, it's our future. Uh, we've got to make sure that we uh, listen to our elders to be able to uh, hear the stories, listen to the language, and across our whole nation to have daycares is what I'd like to see schools teaching our language to make sure that we carry it forward. I'm so proud to be here and knowing that this is what happens within this community. And again, thank you for inviting me. Good afternoon. I'm going to ask you 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 to ask I see a more hunger for learning from the young people, um, there, for the language, and it's people like you, all of you here today, that, that are preserving and promoting our languages, that will keep our languages alive, vibrant, and growing. Masi Mari for the fair Camilla, the Nasput, the Nasput Naoka Tiago Tatai, the Mirkinis of the Pitagopian, Mamopian Pios. We did learn a lot in terms of our, our history and our culture from our elders. We learned about the struggle that some of our, I guess, in that sense, our parents went through in terms of serving in the war, the great Second World War, which has 
Natal Morin, who would tell us about, not very much, but he would tell us that he was a prisoner of war and, and suffered greatly, and so did all the other veterans, saying that they made sacrifices. So we listened to them when we were younger, and of course we thought, well, as we grew older, we saw these people taking over the lives for us in Isla Cross. For those that aren't aware, you should possibly learn the history. In the early 70s, our elders saw there was a need that we take back control of educating our own children in our own way and under our own control. And this is why today, and hopefully we'll continue to the future, that you're the only school board that's controlled by the community. But it took a hard struggle for you to get there. And again, it's because our elders knew the value of retaining our cultural language, history, and teaching it to the younger generations. At this 20th anniversary of the Autocross Mitchell Language Festival, we as elected leaders representing the interests of our people hereby affix our mark for this declaration to illustrate our support, commitment, and determination to promote, utilize, and strengthen the cultural uniqueness of the Métis people, and more specifically strive to strengthen our Northwest Saskatchewan Mitchell language. Dated this 13th day of May 2019 at Isle Cross, Saskatchewan. If I may call up Mayor Gwynne Fabel, Jim DeRosier, Ms. Lisa McCallum, Mr. Clemont Sorche, Clara Morin Del, Del Sol, and Vincent Hennecke, ask them to sign this declaration, please. The government of the government of the uh, I'd like to say on behalf of the students here and the staff, thank you very much for coming to Isla Cross and those happy to be to come and uh, open up our our uh, Mitchell Language Festival, our 28th annual, like you all see. And also the elders of Patrick Hack, we all we recognize you as well. But uh, the students, I'd like to thank you for sitting for two hours listening in Tukami, and it's such a beautiful thing. We try to tell you guys that every day with Ms. Bev, it's such a beautiful thing that you're able to speak another language. And uh, with that, we've got another four days of stuff happening. I'd like to thank the drummers from uh, uh, North Balford, and also the, we've got some dancers who are going to be dancing here pretty quick and a whole bunch of stuff all week. So, merci, thank you very much.